It's understandable that Bitmain doesn't want their customers to overclock their devices because it's possibly it could be you know damaging the hardware if you change the overclocks which potentially would increase efficiency so they come with the standard settings and uh, you know recently they have been locking down their miners because they don't want uh, firmware developers to tamper their devices and you know it's understandable because you know overclocking could possibly kill the hardware and uh, they would have more warranty claims uh, but recently yeah Hive OS you know I've been using Hive OS for a while and I have um, have had a few uh, multiple you know installation tutorials and uh, you know how to monitor your GPU and ASIC miners and uh, yeah HiveOS has recently released a firmware um, for Unminer S17 uh, which could potentially reach 85 terahash and I have tested this and um, the speed I reached was 75 72 to 75 terahash at 3300 watts on the Unminer S17 53 terahash version which was sold by uh, Bitmain and yeah, and they have been uh, quite successful uh, with their previous firmwares for Unminer S9 and the T9 um, they have this great feature which is um, auto chip tuning which basically sets and overclock and the voltages for every chip uh, which will increase your uh, performance efficiency you know 85 terahashes you probably will be available to get with the immersion cooling because um, running at the uh, 75 terahash the miner some of the chips were uh, reaching close to 80 uh, degrees celsius and you know when you increase more uh, mining speed the power power goes up so and this is uh, also increasing the uh, is increasing the temperatures on the chips um, uh, yeah and the, my room temperature is about 15 celsius so I just gonna go through how to uh, set up and install this firmware on your Unminer S17. So let's go to the uh, screen. I hope the Unminer S17 in the background uh, doesn't make too much noise that it will mess up the video quality but uh, uh, I will try it. Um, I have removed the uh, big, big fans uh, on the uh, Unminer S17 to make it a little bit quieter so I'm following this guide I will have the uh, links in the description um, how to install and where you can find this guide so basically you need to prepare um, you know because you, you if you have a stock firmware you won't be able to SSH into the miner um, you would actually need to prepare your miner to do these things um, so basically you just go here preparation stage you need to download um, uh, this here uh, and then unzip, unzip in the folder um, so we will do that I think it's downloaded it downloads Okay, the installer, yeah, I have downloaded here, so just uh, create a folder. Antminer S17 installation. Okay, doesn't matter what's the name. Okay, extract files. Um, to that folder, what I have just created. Okay okay we have extra the files the next thing is you need to uh, uh, get your IP address you know if you do have a you know a lot of unminers so you can use BTC tools or you just use the IP IP reporter 
uh, Bitmain IP reporter, you know, I, I, if you don't know how to use it, you know, it's quite simple. Just click, cr play, press the start button here and then hold the uh, uh, IP report button on the miner and the IP address should show up there. Um, next thing is go to uh, config INI. So this is in the folder. I have extracted the files config this one here um, what you need to do is you know um, this will be your after you you will run this uh, you will have these um, uh, usernames and and passwords uh, what you need to edit here is the farm hash you want to add in your Hive OS account so this is my farm hash here uh, you can find this in settings in your Hive OS account okay and save that and uh, next what we need to do download firmware for Unminer S17 okay signed there's two two uh, firmware sign and not sign. I'm not really sure what's the difference. I think the sign is that you can uh, install after then uh, other firmwares, and non no sign is when you cannot insert install other firmwares. But uh, it might be other way around. Um, so okay, I'm gonna download this firmware. Um, next thing is uh, what you need to do. is okay we have prepared okay there's two two installation guides uh, which is the um, stock firmware is released before July 2019 and the uh, stock firmware released before between July 2019 and December um, I have this and I have to follow this this guide. So first is launch open SSH uh, command, uh, which is this one here. So just open that. Oh sorry. Oh, I I needed first to get the uh, IP address insert the IP address for the miner so this is what I have uh, this is miner IP address uh, you need to insert this in the IPS and then you need to open the SSH okay and you can see it's using this IP address um, but the device will be rebooted after reboot wait around three minutes so we wait for three minutes then next thing is what we need to do is uh, launch the upgrade replace which is this one here okay and the next one is uh, Next one is we need to just upload the firmware to the miner, which we can do from here uh, into the miner uh, from your web browser. Uh, click upgrade, uh, then uh, choose the file. I have this already done on this miner. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, so ju you just choose the firmware I just downloaded on miner S17 Pro Hive Sign, and then uh, click flash the image. So after this is done, uh, you will just need to launch the um, uh, farm hash, which will sign your miner to your HiveOS account. First time I didn't have this, um, when I tried to do it, it didn't add to my HiveOS account. What I did was um, just log into the miner with putty through IP address so the 
username is root and password is admin what you can do is just type in first run minus f and it will, up, uh, it will open the uh, um, that the thing <laughs> where you can enter the your HiveOS user details um, so rig ID when you create a new rig um, here's a rig ID and uh, you just enter these details and uh, password and then with, it will add to your HiveOS account so basically that's it um, you can then operate your mining, mining rig from your HiveOS account create a flight sheet uh, for which pool you want to mine um, and then you also can do uh, overclocking they have here, here preferred settings uh, what they have been testing also you, what you can do is uh, minor configuration from the minor uh, ASIC auto tune profiles which automatically tunes your miner and also there is ASIC uh, man management um, uh, where you can choose the voltages yourself uh, to insert on your chips to reach the uh, best performance and as uh, such minor overclocks uh, current profitability is uh, $11.33 uh, with no power cost and uh, if you add power cost average power cost 10 cents per kilowatt uh, profits daily is 3.1 US dollars uh, which is still uh, very low you know it's, it's about one and a half years for your return of investment but also this miner is um, has good efficiency on the you know if I'm running the same hash rate as the miner is so supposed to be so uh, Bitmain had release this miner 53 terahash at 2100 watts uh, but here uh, you can uh, run this miner with this software at 1900 watts and it it was it will be the same about the same little bit more uh, prof, uh, profitability um, in 24 hours uh, with 10 cents, cents a kilowatt it's really about to find a balance about your electric cost you know if you're electric cost is much cheaper it makes sense to overclock it uh, more because uh, you will uh, reach uh, uh, better you know profitability so 75 terahash at three you see it straight away it's uh, seven uh, US dollars uh, per miner if your electric cost is cheaper um, if it's more expensive, you probably need to um, lower down your power usage and uh, run in that way. With a 5 cents a kilowatt, you know, the profitability seems quite nice and the profit, uh, the return on investment is uh, much, much faster. Um, also, I do want to mention that they, I think they have mentioned that they do have uh, 2.8 percent dev fee uh, by using this uh, firmware and the Hive OS is uh, free uh, if you are using their firmware these efficiency overclocks does help a lot when you do have cheap power source uh, at these Bitcoin prices um, because it will mine a lot more Bitcoin for you um, but yeah I do want to mention there is 2.8 percent dev fee um, it's good to see at least that there is such kind of option to use this firmware and it increases your hash rate uh, a lot uh, you know from 53 to 80 a ter hash that's a big gap about uh, more than 60 percent so yeah, this you know the installation is very straightforward. Um, you just need to download a couple of things and follow the steps uh, which is provided. I will have, as I mentioned before, uh, all the uh, links in the description uh, where you can follow 
uh, this tutorial. I hope you did enjoy this video and uh, found value and share with your friends, definitely. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next video. Mind hardcore or don't mind at all. Goodbye guys, goodbye, goodbye.